What's good, everybody? This is another episode of the RMP Podcast. I know you missed us. Even though we do come up with videos every day, but we haven't done a podcast a in like a minute. Two, three months, um, baby. <laughs> but the reason why we're doing it is because we have a special guest. Very special guest. Uh, like, one of the most talented, mm-hmm. and I mean talented, I'm musicians right. in Buffalo. One of the <laughs> most talented artists in Buffalo. Part of one of the, I would say, one of the biggest Groups in no, Buffalo. they're the biggest boy band in Buffalo. Yeah, that's not like, even a, yeah, that's oh not my a question. God. Can we give it a round of applause? applause? It's going to be in post to our special guest, and Eddie Blanco. Say hi to him, you know. How's everybody <laughs> feeling right now? <laughs> so, Eddie, before we get started, man, how are you doing today? I'm feeling good. The sun is shining. We oh, got some sir. good weather yes, today. Sir. I was able to like. Riding my bike into the office, like mm-hmm. I'm feeling good. My legs feeling in shape. My calves feel like tree stumps. Oh, <laughs> we feel good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Okay. So, Eddie, before we get really, really started, we gonna ask you our generic first question that we ask everybody: What got you into music? Um, I really don't know. Like, since I was able to talk, mm-hmm. like mm. I was singing. I feel, I mean, I guess really my mom, like, she would get me to, like, she would always tell me to, like, oh, sing in your best voice, use your best voice. Okay. And, like, I would sing, like, as hard as I could. Mm-hmm. And I would only do it for, like, my mom and, like, my grandma and stuff like that. And then I, like, stopped for a little bit. And then, I don't know, I went through, like, this weird phase where I, like, was lip singing and, like, chorus. <laughs> <laughs> I was not trying to sing in front of nobody. Chorus, gang. But- I was in chorus just to get out of class, but then I actually liked it. Really? It was good. My chorus was like, yeah, they said, you you got to be yeah, in chorus. Like, I, Oh, they made you be in yeah, chorus? Yeah, they made me be well, in chorus. I went to a Catholic school and they yeah, made me. Yeah, that's how it was for me. Oh, so oh, they're, they're I went to a that, Christian school. Yeah, that, that'll do it. That'll do it every time. Um, they made they made us do chorus. Um, we had to obviously go to go to mass and, and everything like Day that. Up. So yeah. it, it was a whole thing and a half. Every Tuesday for us. Yeah, no. Every I Tuesday? Know, I don't know what day of the week it was. I w- want to say maybe a Monday or Wednesday. Mm. I just hated it because it was just like, I'm in this building. There's nothing to look at except the walls of all these white people in, 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 in different poses and places and like <laughs> white people with wings, white people with halos. And I'm like, ain't nothing in here for me. Where was ain't your, nothing in here black. Own, <laughs> where's your Catholic school at? Uh, St. Joseph's St. on Main Joseph's Street. On Main Street. That's yeah. still in Buffalo, right? Yeah. I was all the way out in Williamsville. Oh, I already know how they like, do it out there. This, like, the public schools like, are crazy out like there. Like they didn't, Ooh. they didn't, they didn't supply school buses to the east side of Buffalo. Like my mom had to like drive me to school every morning. Mm. Like type, but she fortunately like worked out there. And yeah. like the only reason why I was able to go out there because like I mean we had like a scholarship and like whatnot. It was cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um. Mm-hmm. But yeah, nah. Being like one of the only like black people, like yeah. <laughs> it was about like five of us. I had like so, at your school. Yeah, no, there was there was about five of uh, in our. I want to not in our school as a whole in our class. I would say yeah. because ours was in Buffalo, it probably had a lot more diversity mixed than you yeah. would think. But it was a, still a Catholic school at the end of the day. Yeah, so it was yeah, like, no, it's still a Catholic. school. I guess my later years, it was definitely a little bit more diverse at that school for sure. Okay. Yeah, I went to public school. Diversity and danger. That's all it was. <laughs> yeah, public school is fine. Mine um, was. I went to public school <laughs> for one year. What? Yeah, same thing. Eighth grade, eighth grade, because I got kicked out of my Catholic school, so I went. I went eighth grade one year, and then and then and then high school is is the rest of it. My mom gave me one year kindergarten. She said, "Nah, I gotta get you up out of here. (laughs) I gotta get you up out of here." (laughs) Hey, listen, that's crazy. Shout out to Waterfront. It's a better school now, but back in the day, it wasn't the greatest. (laughs) It was not the greatest. But um, (laughs) I guess back (laughs) back to back to you. Um, so with that, I guess what would you say? So. you know, you you kind of really felt a gravity towards music, but there was a point in time where it felt a little like not yeah. awkward, but it just wasn't something you wanted to do because you were being forced to do it, mm-hmm. especially for those type yeah. of songs. It yeah. probably wasn't the best. I would say I started taking it serious when I was like sixteen, like high school. High, high school. school was when I was like that's when I started writing songs and being like, this is like a piece of work that I made, mm-hmm. and I'm going to perform this in front of people, like. I'm going to show people this piece of work. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to put it on SoundCloud. I'm going to promote myself a little bit, you know? Mm-hmm. So okay. I guess, like, high school was when I really started being like, all right, I want to sing, I want to rap, I want to do it all. So okay. what was some music you was listening to during that time? Um, A lot of, like, early Kendrick, a lot of 
like t- early Tyler the Creator. Okay, yes, sir. Um, <laughs> what else? Kanye West, of course. Uh, that was when he was on his on his pills, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was uh, the yeah, he was always <laughs> tweaking. <laughs> nah, but he was <laughs> regardless. It was. It was variable, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's a little different now. Oh, yeah. It's more extreme. He was always <laughs> tweaking, but, like, this was before, like, he was tweaking, tweaking. Yeah, yeah. tweaking. Like, there you go. That's perfect. Tweaking, like tweaking before now. before he was, like, tripping, tripping. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, hmm, who else did I listen to? I don't know. I really listened to a lot of things, like Green Day. Even, like, mm-hmm. um, okay. my genres is, like, all, all over, over the place. place. Like, yeah. I listen to really just about everything. Shout out Carrie Underwood. She oh. fired. <laughs> that that one song where she put her key into the side of the Louis yeah, Louis yeah. Oh, okay, wheel drive. Yeah, yeah. That, that song before is he fire. cheats, that's a banger. Yeah, before, before he cheats so, is hard. Come on. You be like Tough. you be like, yeah, I do hate this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> she ready. <right. laughs> Damn. Damn. That nigga ain't you, shit. You bro. go, girl. Yeah, no, for that's real. That's crazy. Get him. God. Oh man. Now, that is a, a wide array of music. <laughs> I think I think at that time I, I didn't really the funny thing is, I don't think I really messed with music until my eighth grade, like Ooh. year, okay. and then from there I had a weird, I had a weird like, I guess I don't know palette for music. Like I was listening to like dubstep. Um, yes, yeah, I, was, I, I was, remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening. Dubstep, to dubstep. is I fire. Skrillex, uh, but I, I used to listen to Skrillex. Yeah, yeah. I did. Used to make Rick used to be like, no, nah, Skrillex just dropped. Skrillex just dropped. I, used to make fun yeah. of I remember. I remember I first got put on to Dead Mouse. Okay, yeah. And like yeah. I didn't know how they were called, but like I was like, "Yo, they so fire!" Yep. Like I'm gonna go tell my white homies about them. <laughs> <laughs> so I went up to him. I was like, "I was like, yo, y'all heard of this um this EDM uh, guy, Dead Mile Five? <laughs> they just looked at me. They just looked at me for a second. <laughs> said, what is get alone to this guy? <laughs> no, nah, that would listen. I kid you not, Rick. You just brought back like, a memory that that I put that away. You forgot making fun of me because I Rick, was like, I was Rick like, used to be like, yo, y'all boys. Because <laughs> Philip came out with that song, um, the the Lamborghini joint with uh, Rick Ross. Or, yeah. yeah, and I was I was feeling that bitch. I was like, yo, y'all don't think this is hard? And, and, was, I, like, and they Rick, was like, nah, nah, really. Get the fuck like, out of here. <laughs> or not, not, it wasn't it wasn't um, Rick it, Ross. It was ASAP just, Rocky. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. ASAP Rocky. <laughs> and it, it was like um a party for the night, fuck being for yeah. light. And it was like and I was like, I was like, this is it. But and the rest of it was just like, what is this nigga doing? That was terrible. But I transitioned. I apologize. You should be able to listen to what you want to listen to. I transitioned from EDM to house music, which is what got me into hip hop. Because it was house, it was house remixes of a hip hop song. I think it was a Meek Mill song. And I was like, oh, this is hard. And then, and then I found the actual Meek Mill song. And I was like, oh, I know what this is. And then, uh, like, reverse all the way back. Because I hated music because I had an older sister. And all she did was um, turn the TV to MTV while I was watching cartoons. And I was like, man, fuck music. I'm trying to watch SpongeBob. That's a I'm fucked up way to be introduced YouTube. to music. Yeah, so I hated yeah, it. That I was like, crazy. fuck Nelly. Fuck, fuck 50. Like, like, fuck. Like, like, 50 like, why you say fuck, fuck people? people. Yeah. So I'm glad you had a better experience yeah, with music. Definitely. So, Me too. So, <laughs> so, Eddie, what inspired your sound now? Like, what artists do you pull from? Or are you just to go and be like, I pull from myself? How does it work, man? Um, I really just make whatever I think sound good. Mm. Like, if I think it sound good, I'm going to put it on paper. And mm-hmm. if I... I, when I put it on paper, like I'm just gonna record it, and if it's, mm. you know what I mean, like that's yeah. really like it's, that's my process. Like, okay. I just, I don't know, I don't know. Would you, will we be able to repeat the question? My bad. I oh no, I was well. just gonna say who, like who or what inspired your sound now. I guess just, I say, what, and I would say what would inspire my sound more, which would be just like what I hear. I mm. guess like okay. whatever, whatever I hear. I'm able to like really just like transfer it into like an emotion, uh-huh. um, which is like it's kind of hard sometimes when it comes for me like picking beats because like people will really send me like the hardest beat like that shit will be so fucking hard but it's like I can't write to it right now because that's just not the emotion not I'm trying right to now. portray. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. know, so it's like it really takes a lot of like uh, two hand. You know what I mean? Like two. It takes two. You know, yeah. I'm not the best producer in the world. Mm-hmm. So, like, oh. I try to, like, you know, hit up, like, Kev. 
Um, mm-hmm. I got like mad beats of like Enrique. Oh, well, Apollo. Oh, sorry. DJ Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> Not my, leaking the government. <laughs> on, my, on my laptop. Uh, <laughs> I got some stuff of Steven. My, my boys say cool. Mad people. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mad people. Shout out Seiku Vibe too, man. Yeah, we, yeah that's no, my he, brother. That's uh, my brother. Yeah, no, he was when, when we was out there, because he because we went to at the free music party. Yeah, yeah. Check out the video. Cold Wave Festival. We'll, we'll relink it. Cold Wave, you know? Cold Wave, Cold Wave, Cold Wave. Well, we were out there. He was. I want. He was the first act. First right? or second? Yeah, yeah. he what, was what, second. Whatever. Yeah, second, yeah, second. So, I was like. Nah, this is crazy. Yeah, because I was I was feeling it. The beat choices was great. Um, I, I he said that was his first performance. Which I was, could I could tell yes. he was nervous. Which I was happy that he was first because it wasn't people weren't filling in yet. So mm-hmm. he was able to you know go through a set and, and probably the go process, through the nerves. Yeah. But I really wish a lot more people were there because he would have had that shit jumping. That- Nigga is so can I say that? Yeah, that yeah, no, nigga is so you want, cold. <laughs> yeah, like no. at everything, like he even like everything that you heard, mm-hmm. he made. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what like, he told us. Yeah, yeah. like he, literally he the beats, every the lyrics, single everything. thing. Mm-hmm. Like my first album, like I credit him for really being the like almost like executive producer of that mm. project because he mm. produced most of it. Most like, of it, yeah. like he produced more than half of them songs. Oh wow! Like, um. I don't know. He no, goes, that nigga, he he he's one of them. Like, he's nice. He's one of them. And like for yeah. him to like be able to do what like he has done yeah. with like, I don't even know. Like, <laughs> like this, this man, he's just elevate. Just He just elevates Shit. and elevates and elevates and elevates. You yeah. can ask Rick, me and Bob, before we even got to talk to him. Me and Vi, because we dabble in the music scene. Yeah. We were like, we were like, nah, who making this nigga's beats though? Yeah, like, no, yeah. Damn, and then he yeah. told us, we was like, what's your information? <laughs> you, know, and you know the craziest thing though, too. Like, fun fact mm-hmm. is like, them the beats that he be making too. Like, we'll be sitting there, and that shit, that shit will be done in, like, five minutes. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. literally, okay. like, we'll be sitting there, and he's like, I'm going to cook something up. <laughs> Just hit the computer and then turn turn to the keyboard. Dun, 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 do so, <laughs> yep. All right, we good. <laughs> Get to the drums. Oh, and then you just start mapping it out for the rest. Uh, and it, Adding and stuff, just, mapping it done. out. And it's just done. Like like I don't know. He's he's talented. Yeah, definitely. He was probably I would want to say out of all the performances, he was probably like my second or third favorite that night. Because mm. mm-hmm. that's it, valid. Yeah, yeah no, because because like I said, the the beat the beats were crazy. Um, he was flowing on them hoes. Mm-hmm. He did forget his lyrics and he let us know in the video, but I I didn't even notice. But for it, for it like, to be his first performance though, he yeah, did a no, wonderful job. Like, yeah, no, I I've seen a lot of niggas that perform every week and. Yeah. Wasn't half like, as good I as I was him, so, 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 so proud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I, I was such a proud friend. <laughs> <laughs> I was, in, I was in the back DJing. Yeah, 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 yeah. At that point, yep. Yeah. <laughs> shout out, shout out DJ all over the place. We yes, all over sir. the world. Yes, sir. That's, if you check out the uh, Cold Wave, the RMP Cold Wave video, yep. we're like, damn, they got Eddie working 48 hours. Yeah. This thing can do everything. I was around the clock. Yeah, Eddie was DJing. <laughs> he was helping people set up. And, and I was like, damn. after I got done DJing, I left, got my hair cut, mm-hmm. came back, put yep. on my fit, meditated. And got yes, sir. yes, sir. It was hey, you had all the time. We was yeah. there. It was a long day, yeah. but it was a great day. But it yeah, was a no, long, it was a good day. I did a shift on my yeah. feet that day. I was yeah. like, oh man, I was like, ah. I, I forgot what time we even got there. Like, yeah, yeah, I was there probably. Yeah, I was. We were there earlier, earlier than eleven because so. we had to set up like that morning. Yeah, so so like mm. all that, all the backdrop and everything, like we put that up that morning. Yeah, and the show didn't end until like twelve. So. Yeah, yeah. So. Mm. Man. Shout out Free Music Party, man. I had like three ginger Shout out Free Music Party. <laughs> yeah, well, Rick, well, I was fucked up too, but Rick was real yeah. fucked up. That's why you don't see him too much in the video. He was not doing good. Not because of the music. The music was, was great. great. I just was sick. He was I just was sick just as like, fuck. I was yeah. like, man, let me get a third ginger ale before I pass out out here because this is great. I guess giving y'all a little, I guess, backstory. I was also sick as fuck, but I was kind of coming out of it. Yeah. So RMP was just struggling the whole time, but mm. we... We was there. We yeah. made it happen. Thank you enjoyed um, it. Y'all yeah. got to do something like that again. For uh, sure. Uh, yeah, for sure. For mm-hmm. sure. Because that was that Cold was wave, nice. cold wave, cold wave. I guess <laughs> I'm going to skip gonna ahead. Promo. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit since we kind of dabbled into Free Music Party already. Um, you're in 
the hottest. This is from Plax. The hottest boy band in the city. Thank you. Was that way before you I go? Appreciate first, it. Is that how you would describe y'all as a boy band? What would you? Well, that's what they call themselves. Yeah, no, we're, okay. we're, the, we're the hottest. We're the hottest boy band since One Direction. For real. Ooh, for real. I'm like, with it. I'm locked. I'm locked in yeah, with I'm it. I'm not mad at that. I'm locked. Like, in. Who better? Mindless behavior. Get the fuck out. <laughs> no, I'm like, not I just, mindless behavior. I just might be the next Harry Styles on some that's shit. That's what I'm like, saying. That's what I'm saying. Because I'm not listen. I got. I got mad free music party songs on my playlist. I don't got no mindless Eddie behavior Stylish. in my playlist. You got one got... direction in your playlist? <laughs> Do I? I don't think so. See, nah, Pretty see? Color. Come yeah, on, man. Him. Come on. Okay, I was so, just making sure because he would always call y'all boy band. And it but makes that's because they call themselves well, It makes that. sense to me, but there's other things like... Uh, we call ourselves a boy band just because, like, everybody, like, I don't know. That's just kind of what we just started just to really become. And it's cool. like... We all be singing. Yeah, Like, true. we all be singing. Yeah. Like, even a- Apollo got a singing track do in we? the cut. <laughs> in the cut. Okay. When you going to do it on stage? Yeah, we need that. I don't know. I don't know. I've been trying to get get everybody to release it, but it's, it's fire. It's a banger. It's a banger. Okay. So, the question... We all Well, no, I'm, I'm not oh. done with this Oh, yet. okay. So, all right. Point. So, y'all, y'all consider yourselves a boy band. Right? Yeah. And I, I understand that y'all come out with the energy and everything like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. When y'all going to get the like the dance sets? When y'all going to get the numbers? Oh, the choreo? Yeah. When they kind of the... do, though. No, they they kind of do they have, a little I, bit. I, I can tell they have their stage placements. They have all that. I'm talking about straight up. Like the dance yeah, moves. Yeah, we got to we gotta buy some headsets first. I want to do fair. it right. Yeah. Like if I do it, if I do some choreo, these hands got to be free. free. Like, I got to yeah. be. So I got to really be. get so into it. Really, yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> all right. Now, I'm not mad at that. Boys, we are the boys. You know what I mean? <laughs> if, I'm trying to get into if it. If y'all do the rotation of, like, one of y'all step up, get y'all solo while everybody just doing their shit, step back, next one up, that joint go crazy. Boys, That's what I'm saying, man. Especially if it came out the blue, like, no one knew, like, It would go crazy. Oh, at a, at a free music party concert, yeah, and the like niggas just did, do it? Like, how y'all pop out some choreo? Like, just... Listen... Pause. Let's not let's let's not leak too much. Listen, oh, yeah. no. pause. <laughs> if they come out with the choreo, I'm a faint. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> free music, <laughs> music party. Yeah. I'm a faint in that motherfucker. You gonna have to catch the camera. Ring. I'm like, to... oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> just fell. No, that's I, I, okay. So that that does clear it up. I'm, okay, I, I guess I'm excited for the I guess the <laughs> potential future of uh, of choreo. Well, I, I just always wonder because y'all could be like a music collective like Brockhampton, even though that's we don't, fair. We don't really talk about them anymore because well, yeah, they're problematic. Yeah, some of them made some bad choices. Oh yeah. Um, who else is a, who? What's a modern day boy band besides um, rock, modern? Rock, day? That's my thing. Like that's like Y'all, one of my pet free peeves. music parties. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody always compares to Brockhampton, but like I feel like we be making like different like our mm-hmm. you know like hits. I, they I don't think they made a hit. Like not not even oh no like it's nothing disrespect. even disrespectful just, just like sonically like like you know what I mean it's just like I feel like it's a different I, I can understand that to a degree but I, I think it's just that. I think they just see I feel like a lot of times people just see like a bunch of dudes together making yeah. music and it's just like assume and just, some, yeah some that's Brockhampton because uh, before Brockhampton was a thing they was calling us um ASAP. And they were calling ASAP us. Mom. They were calling. You know what I mean? Like oh, that's were, just trying to call. Saying, oh, you're like you're like ASAP and Odd Future put together. Like yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Saying stuff like that. People, where it's yeah, like, yeah, people like to do that like, if we, they can't make sense of whatever they. And at. and that's something I admire about y'all. Like y'all, it, like at a show, for mm-hmm. instance, you'll get a rock sounding joint. You'll get a rap joint, yeah. a R and B joint, a neo soul joint. Yeah, <laughs> like you'll get all, in the, in yeah. one concert, yeah. and that shit is amazing, bro. Yeah. Especially for somebody that like different type of music like myself, mm-hmm. it's great. I do need a country joint from y'all though. Oh, that's coming. <laughs> that's coming. Like I said, they had a horse in their video. They you did. Like, far they did. That's what I'm saying. I've been plotting on the country song for a minute now. <laughs> there might be one on the computer already. Oh, already? Oh, man. Okay. You gotta have okay. the cow bells in there. Oh, cow Jane part two. That's gonna, be hard. <laughs> that's gonna be hard. But let me get another horse. He gonna ride it though, like all like all the way, like full speed ride that motherfucker. I'm gonna pop a willy. Oh no. <laughs> what does that look like? I'm gonna pop a willy. You know, you know when it's stand on two legs? Call, yeah, is that what you call it? I mean, though? what else do you call it? I don't know what else to call it other than Papa Papa Hill. Hill. Papa Hill. Papa Papa Hilly. Papa. Papa Papa Hilly. Papa Shoe. Like Achilles. Yeah, Papa. 
<laughs> Papa because shoe, I don't yeah. know what that is called, I guess a wheelie is the best yeah, term there for go. it. There you but go. I feel like that's not what they call it <laughs> when they in a rodeo or like, you know, on the farm. I don't feel like they be like, why don't you pop this wheelie, Jim Bob? And then just, <laughs> and then they just tor- torque that shit. I don't think they, they be saying that. Man, I'm talking oh, about here changing bro. the game. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, my God, bro. Day this by day. Great. But um, speaking of you guys' music video, we reacted to to one. Um, mm-hmm. What is it like? So you guys do big videos, or at least we've seen big, big videos, videos from yeah. you guys. Yeah. What's kind of like the thought process behind those? Like, is it like you guys have like just a bunch of ideas and see how many y'all can fit into a video, or is it like you kind of have a vision for the song and it just works out like it's like y'all just build up to something? We have like a vision for the song and like. I will honestly say, like, shout out to Aaron. Aaron, like, put a lot of this together. Mm-hmm. Um, the videographer, like, he went, the director, he went crazy. Yeah, um, no, 100%. He came to, like, get in the horse. Like, he called me the one day and, like, was just like, yo, remember that time when you asked me, uh, can you get me on a horse for a video? And that, that I said that, like, what, like a year or two before oh, he yeah, called before me? The, yeah. I was like, I was like, uh, yeah. He goes, what if I told you I could get you on a horse? I was like, I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. Yeah. I'm sold. <laughs> sure, fuck it. Yeah. He just did it. Like he just did it. Like Aaron, that man make it happen. <laughs> like that, he just makes he just makes stuff happen. No, that that whole video, everything he touches, gold. That whole video was shot like great. It looked like a movie. Like just the, the intro you. with all y'all just like hanging out and just being like, I I wonder what's happening in in France right. And then it, the the little uh, the Snapchat the goes Snapchat. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you saw our reaction yeah. video, but we were like, no, that's not Snapchat. That's not Snapchat. That's like the new back page. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I watched. I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> but just seeing all that, like everything, how everything was shot. Mm-hmm. Y'all had y'all had a bunch of people in the video. Um, some familiar faces in there, mm-hmm, and it definitely. was just—it just seemed like you guys really just had like an idea, and it really came together. Mm-hmm. Like, because you see some videos where you could tell where someone was trying to take it, but maybe like for reasons one way or the other, they couldn't maybe get it exactly how they wanted to. But for that video, I felt like y'all did everything y'all wanted to do mm-hmm. for it, and it looked—it great. was like it was like clockwork. Every time yeah. we pulled up to the set. We got busy. Yep. Like we just got busy. We got the job done. Everybody left satisfied. Like Ooh, it, just, it was just like everything just came into fruition. Like when it came to that video. Do you think that's a tough thing um, as like an artist, like yeah. being on the like once you're stepping outside of the music um, with acting in music videos and and kind of having to be like the hands on as especially starting out. Do you feel like that's a tough thing that you had to learn? With being a musician, or it was like something that came natural. You have to learn that for sure. Like, I've been making music for years and years and years and years and years, and mm-hmm. like we've been making music together for years. And like, it's a great video. This is our first video. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. So like, y'all, everyone's got to think like how many like attempts and like efforts and like you yeah. know what I mean, videographers and different people that we've met with in those prior times mm-hmm. oh. just so we could even like get something get that's literally point. like that's, that's yeah. perfect for us for, yeah. that's like that perfectly captures like the music because the last thing we wanted to do was like make like really fire music and then go like half ass on the video, on the video. Oh. like oh. one more thing i wanted to touch on before we move on to the next one is because you brought up a, a point you guys you know a lot of trial and error and going through a, a bunch of different things mm-hmm. How hard was it to say no or, like, that's not really us to, like, maybe some people who came on to the project? Like, if we talked to multiple videographers, like, maybe they had their ideas and y'all wasn't really feeling it. Like, because I feel like a lot of people, like, especially starting out, they, they don't feel comfortable doing that because they feel like it's like maybe this person knows a bit more than me. Mm-hmm. But yeah. then it's like you got to s- stick with your guns to a certain extent. So Yeah. I mean, you, you never want to, like compromise your craft or like your art for like another person's you know what i mean like you don't want to fully compromise yourself because this is at the end of the day it's your baby you know so yeah i'll I'll word the question a bit better um so how do you balance knowing what you want out of the video with what other people a part of the project are either able to provide or their two cents so it's like you obviously they're videographers so Mm -hmm. they have their lane 
but this is your music video and you mm-hmm. guys' idea. So how do you balance <coughs> getting what you want out of it while also understanding like you know limitations and or creative differences? I don't like. I would say so at least with. So we got the video with the horse, mm-hmm. and then we're also coming out with this animated like video where like oh. we all got like superpowers. Yeah, that like, was the next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got that one. Um, when it, those ones are pr- pretty much well, the one is done. The animated video is also like close. practically done as yeah. close. Uh-huh. Um, both of those just came together like nothing. Really? Like, oh. yeah, I will say like like the the. The ideas that we were getting bounced back and forth mm-hmm. between both uh, me and, and Aaron, well, us and Aaron, and like me and Cissé were like all like it, just yeah. bouncing back it and forth. Just, we were just kind of just on the same page, and it was in oh, sync. Okay. And like I think that's why the videos came out like the way they did. Yeah. Um, and why like we feel like satisfied with them. You oh. know, we feel happy with them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just. Uh, I but just I will wondered. say it's uh, with other pro- like not uh, producers, with other uh, videographers and whatnot that like I've tried to work with or like yeah. you've tried to work with. You just gotta know how to say no, like, and that's okay. And the person that you're saying no to has to be able to understand yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. That's I, I, I feel like that's I feel fact. like, in like the- that's just how that's just how like you know what I mean. That's just a life. Like you are gonna get rejection and you're just gonna have to bounce back and get better mm-hmm. like there's gonna be mad retakes that i'm gonna have to do throughout the whole music video to get that thing right but mm-hmm. i'm gonna do them yeah and that, you, that director is gonna tell me yo you messed up here yeah we gonna have to redo that so vice versa i feel like it should be the same way gotcha okay. see that's a, yeah i feel like that's just something a lot of people forget in the creative industries <laughs> saying no um just being like Either that's not my speed, or it's just like that's not how I envisioned it, and just being willing to stick with their guns because mm-hmm. I feel like that gets lost in translation. Like it's like the the want to do something and get it done overrides a lot of like it's like well I really want to get this done and I feel like if this takes any longer I'm not gonna get it done or it's not mm-hmm. gonna get done when it needs to get done. Um, whether it's like some imaginary deadline or just like how you had everything planned out. Mm-hmm. And it's like, sometimes you got to just take those risks and be willing to just, like you said, say no. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. But us uh, animated music video. Yes. How did that idea come about? Um, I hit up my boy, uh, C. Say Venta, um, about just doing an animated music video. Like I just seen mm-hmm. on his page, he did animations. He's been doing animations, and I've been seeing it for like a few years now. He's been yeah. like just working on like getting his like video stuff up, and like we had hit him up like years ago, like back when we were like civil for like doing a music video. But then like it didn't. I don't know. Just stuff happened. Life happened. Didn't come into like fruition. Yeah. And then uh, I DM'd him, and then I proposed the idea for Bruce Wayne. Yeah. And. Uh, he was for it. He was all for it. And then we met up and like literally sat at his computer and like I was watching him do all like the clicks and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> and like I'm proposing an idea. He uh helped uh come up with like the storyboard. Like Okay. We we was just like I said, we were just bouncing back, back and, and forth. forth. Yeah. And then like relaying, like sending pictures in the group chat, like, yo, do you like the way your hair look? <laughs> Once it gets to that is your, point, is your, hair, is your hair curly enough? Yeah, you uh, like to. <laughs> he didn't give all y'all like perms. I, I, and giving everybody a perm. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they use it. You can go back to watch. There'd be, be a lot of characters who look. We were looking at it like it. the amount of hairstyles that they had for black people is crazy. N- not many. Yeah, what to not say? Many, yeah. not crazy, many. crazy in what sense? Like it's rid- crazy, family. ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> like it's it's insane. It's a shame that two K is the best. Shout out the Harry game. Potter video game. They got yeah, hairstyles they, no, too. They got, Harry Potter does it well. 2K begrudgingly. 2K got no choice. Yeah, they begrudgingly have good hairstyles. Like, but and like, 2K just kind of recently started cooking with the hairstyles. Yeah. Recently, yeah. With the, and I mean, like, within the last decade. Well, Because before that, it wasn't like that. Well, 2K used to get away with it because bas- they were just putting basketball player haircuts in there, and basketball players were, you know, they're, they're famous to a degree, mm. especially depending on how good they are. So those 
hairstyles would translate to like what kids were getting anyway. Right. So right. it was like, I'm gonna just get this one. But then yeah. now people are like, well, I want to get my hair. And yeah. I don't I don't, got Jason Tatum. I hair. don't want to look like so, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I can't. I don't got the Jason Tatum. I don't got. I don't got the John Moran. Yeah. I don't or, got the the yeah. slick backs. I, I don't got none of that get. stuff. Yeah. So it's like, but now they're a lot better. Like you said, Harry Potter mm-hmm. has been one of the better ones. Um, Dragon's Dogma also has a great character creator, which to Fire. the point where they created a whole separate game of you just creating your character to then put it into the actual game. That's oh, how, that's, that's how crazy. much they gave you to work with a character. Um, and crazy. their hairstyles for black people have been amazing. Um, and I, I, I'm glad that you guys have <laughs> figured out the ethnic <laughs> the ethnic hairstyle. Well, they kind of had to. For your <laughs> <animated> <laughs> <movie>. No, <laughs> they've showed us. They didn't have to do anything. Well, no, I'm saying they had to. Oh, well, yeah, well, <laughs> they they, they could have just gave them fade. Everybody Fade got a fake. Yeah, everybody. See, but I, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Everybody could have had a fake. Everybody could have pulled off a fake. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I do have one more question about free music prior then we're going to get back to Eddie specifically. Back, back. I just wanted to know, personally, I don't really care about everybody else right now. How did free music party come to be? Um, Kaylin and Xavier put it all together. Well, like, shout out. Shout out Kaylin and Xavier. Yes, you know, shout out them. They put it all together. Uh, I got hit up because my boy Jordan was like friends with them, and my boy Jordan asked me to like. He's like, "Yo, my boy's like wants to make a rap group and mm. whatnot." So I was like, "Yeah, sure." A rap group, and then <laughs> it evolved. Well, no, yeah, not a rap group, crazy. not a rap group, a collective. It was because it really wasn't a like a rap group. Like yeah. there were more like artists in the group than there were uh, rappers. rappers mm. yeah. You know, mm-hmm. like we had like people that were like painting people that were drawing people that were like dancing you mm. know people that were like uh aspiring to be like models like we were trying ah. to like i guess well uh, they were trying to they were making like a, a kind of i guess like a blueprint for like people like a a stepping stone for yeah people to like okay. really get started i guess yeah. and like yeah no that was a thing collect uh that was the collective create and live cv mm. cvl though Mm. See, I yeah, that's I didn't even know. That. I didn't yeah, know it started crazy. out like yeah. that, and then involved. It started this, off yeah. like that, and like we like we weren't even performing. Like we performed in Buffalo. Like we were doing. We did stamps back in. But like this is I'm talking like y'all know stamps the bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We did stamps like before they had the vinyls on the wall. Oh really? Oh, <laughs> like, that's how long ago we no. were doing stamps. Oh, that's back in the day. Like, <laughs> no, like it was a minute ago. Okay, like, yeah, it was that's like, a minute ago. This was like twenty like. Like I'm fresh out of high school. Yeah, I must like, have been 2016. Yeah, this 16, is like 20, 2016, yeah. 2016. Yeah. I think I wasn't even around then doing shows. Yeah, like <laughs> so around like, then, no. Yeah, no, we were doing that, and then I ended up signing uh, like a little management deal out in Toronto. So okay, then cool. we were just in and out of Toronto for a while. Um, back and forth, like doing like shows and like meeting up with like my manager and. Mm. Like, just really just getting our reps in, and then I'm back here. Yeah. There I, you go. It doesn't surprise me that Xavier and Kaylin were kind of, like, spearheading it, because back when we were in um, middle school, they were pretty much like that, even back then. Um, back when um, Pen Drop and, and, and Jerk oh, was, was, was popular, they wanted to make a group kind of like the Rangers. I forgot I was mm-hmm. one of those dancing. <laughs> yeah, dancing and I, I was with them. I was the cameraman. They were filming out in, at Delaware Park. Mm. And it, it probably exists somewhere on YouTube still, which is hilarious. It's just a, a, me on a fucking flip phone or something recording them uh, dancing and shit. Uh, and and that was all spearheaded by by Kaylin and Xavier. And That's it, funny. And it's it's hilarious to see the evolution the of that yeah. versus to where, what they are now yeah it's no like, it's yeah. it's really funny i was thinking about that the other day like because i was like because say cool mm-hmm. i've known him my whole life like since he was like five years old mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. literally my whole life and it's like you look at people and it's like people really like like a lot of times like to the core people really be the same or at least they want to be the same person. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? That they was type yeah. shit. They tra- they change the little things. Yeah. But they change a lot of little things so it looks like big changes. So it looked like big changes yeah. but really deep down like it's, it's the same. Yeah. Niggas be like, bro, you, you still changed. pick your nose, bro. Like, like bro, I was 12. <laughs> but sometimes no, old, sometimes bro. they be the same. Yeah, no, exactly. Like sometimes no duh, I changed. Same, yeah. Sometimes they be the same 12 like in in the like 
in the core parts. Like, yeah. It's like, yeah. They, obviously, they're still not going to like the same shows, the same things in terms yeah. of hobbies and stuff, but, like, they'll maybe, like, be excited about them the same way mm-hmm. or, like, yeah. or, or, or just talk about them the same way, but it's just different things. Mm-hmm. So instead yeah. of Power Rangers, I'm talking about drums. Yeah. And, and, yeah. <laughs> and instead of Pokemon, yeah. I'm talking about I'm talking about cars. It's yeah. same same way, different things. Yeah. That, that's that's, that's why it looks like a change, but it's not. It really it's, is not. Yeah. Like you're the same down to the core. Mm. It's just to a different degree because everybody different. Everybody. They had different scenarios. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. I majored oh, in psychology, everybody. Oh. oh nice. Okay. Right. I got through another round of applause. Yeah, got, Come got talk to, to me. <laughs> Education is important. Don't forget that. So back to Eddie really quick. Tell us more about your project. That's why you came today. Yes. That's what we want to hear I forgot. About. I do got a Tell project. Pro- <laughs> yeah, we were talking about a lot of shit. I yeah, forgot. Yeah. yeah, tell us about your project. I do got a project. And if you want to give us any leaks that don't nobody else know, we would appreciate that as um, well. Maybe not for, like, the podcast, but, but for sure That's after, fair. for okay. sure, for sure. Gotta ask. But <laughs> I, um, I'm dropping a project. Okay. When? I don't know. Sometime this year. Okay. Um, it's gonna have a good amount of songs on it. Okay. What's um, the, what are we looking at? Like Rick don't definitely like. double digits for sure. <laughs> double digits. That's fine. Um, True. Well, hopefully not triple triple. With I guess the project. Brown. The project name is called With the Ferns. Okay. And it's based off of uh, a book that I read in like middle school called Where the Red Fern Grows. Have you ever read that book? I would say where that, the say it again? where the where the red fern grows. Oh, that sounds I, super familiar. I, I feel like say. I've heard of it. It's a really, really dope book. It's real okay. deep. And it's like, it's about this boy who uh, had like two dogs and they, they lived in a town where like they would like go out into the woods mm-hmm. and one of like the main sources of income, like, you know how like there's like the gold rush where everybody's rushing to get gold yeah. in that town. They were rushing to get truffles and sell them. So oh, people were using okay. like hounds, hounds and stuff to get yep. truffles. So um, he ends up getting like mad money for like his family, getting his bread up. Giving it to his family because mm-hmm. his family didn't they didn't have like a lot of money whatever he gives it to him and then uh oh, I've seen this book I we're gonna go forward book. a little bit like to like the ending of it like it. Yep. he ends up I don't even like remember the whole gist but like there was a part that like really stuck out with me but at the end they were like. He ended up like getting like attacked by like a cougar or some shit, and like the Ooh. dogs ended up defending him and yep. dying. Yep, I do remember. I remember throughout the whole book. I think there was a movie or something. Yeah, throughout the whole book, yeah. he would go to where the red ferns were, like because it was like a beautiful thing. Like it was, a, it was pretty. Yeah. It was pretty as hell. He would go where the red ferns grow, and at the end of the book, that's where he buried his dogs. So it's Ooh. like, um, I guess like the the to give a brief synopsis, I guess of the project is like. No matter like where in life you you find me, I'll always be with the ferns. I'll always we be with my dogs. You'll catch me uh, residing where like people love me because okay, it's like a fern boy mentality, I guess. Ooh, you got it. Fern boy. Yeah, no, that's deep. That one up. Hold on. See, I was reading like Doctor Seuss. I was reading Goosebumps. <laughs> Goose, don't don't do that to Goosebumps. Goosebumps no, I was I was Goosebumps go crazy. <laughs> I read all of them. Yeah, I, I was locked in. Either. I never read them, but I watched them. Watch, no, I watched Goose, them too. Yeah. Goosebumps was scary to watch. Um, to they, read it was chill. To, yeah, to read it because you could just close the book. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, like, guess I'm done with that. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, the dummies behind them, you saying? Yeah. You just close the book. Yeah. I've never. Have you ever seen anybody that'll read a horror book and just be like, Ugh, like, no, like, nah, like have a jump scare? Nah. Like, dude, people get jump scares no, from books. Like, that's, what? A, that's a skit. <laughs> so, uh, that, that, that is. A- <laughs> what be happening? <laughs> so for me, at least, I've I've read like when I was a kid, I read like scary books per se, mm-hmm. right? The way scary books, I've always, at least the good ones that I've read, it wasn't about the, the jump scare moments because you, I've, like you said, you can't translate that in books. But it was about setting a, a vibe. Yeah, setting a scene that you could easily see yourself falling into. Mm-hmm. It's like okay. you hear something creaking. In, in the dead of night, mm-hmm. and you just so happen to be reading it at night, and now you listening out just in case you hear something, even though you know you're not. But just that feeling that you gotta maybe hear. I something. capped. I disrespect. I capped. <laughs> I did get jump scared by a book, The <laughs> Shining. I read The Shining. I've never seen the movie. Oh, I read watch, that motherfucker. The movie then. 
That shit, I said, well, hold on. <laughs> well, <laughs> Let's Shining, backtrack a little bit. Books like The Shining <clears throat> and It, if you ever it, read it, yeah. which reading a book is way different than the movies. Mm-hmm. Those are scary. I stay away from the scary genre unless, like, I'm with people. Really? I respect that. Yeah, because, like, like, I like to crack jokes about the scary stuff, so it's not that scary. Yeah. Like as like as like <laughs> pussy as that shit sound like no, I, like I, it's I real. Same thing. It's I, real. Like I, I don't love, I don't really rock with the the, the supernatural. Like when we moved into the house, real. I called my my grandma <laughs> tiny. I was like, hey, can you please come through? Because she's a pastor. I was oh, like, I hey, pray over it. can you please come through with the holy water and bless yeah. the house? She yeah. did. Came through, blessed the house. We held hands. We prayed over it. Sometimes you got it. No, it was, so no. It was because the mirror fell off the wall. It was crazy. Oh, well, yeah, that, that was a crazy that'll week. Do it every, that some, week was some madness. Some weird occurrences. That'll do it all the time. That yeah. week was madness. But um, but I, I I feel the same way about scary stuff. I can do like B horror movies all day because I used to watch them with my grandma on the Sci Fi Channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like all the like the BS ones, like the the old eighties like terrible effects. Yeah. And all that. I can watch those all day. Give me a real scary movie though. I'm like, why am I watching? Why am I watching something to not enjoy it yeah. for real? Like, why am I why am I getting like like fight or flight off of also, a movie if I don't movie, got yeah. to? Yeah, like it, it don't make sense. For me, it depend. If I'm in the mood for it, I will sit down and watch. What's the one. mood? Like, what is the mood you got to be in to watch it? I don't. I don't know. I guess a spooky mood. I guess a spooky if mood. If I'm in a spooky mood, I'd be like, fuck it. I'll throw that bitch on. I'm in a spooky mood 5% of the time. So, no, almost never. I can't, I but can't, if I'm in the mood, I will throw a drain on. Because I seen you watch, because he wa- he reacted to, it, it's one of the, oh, be- yeah, it's one I of did the used to do. best videos he he put on TikTok. I mm-hmm. think it, it ended up getting like. It was like, a I, that was that's my best video, period. Yeah, it did like 500,000. Yeah, or something I, like that. I reacted to a short film. I can't remember the name of it, but basically like this big ass lady. That was more funny to me, though. No, you was shook. It was at night. Don't no, that that one yeah. was more funny because I was like the big ass lady. Why is she chasing the little boy? Yeah, it was. Street? It was basically. Uh, I was uh, scared because the little nigga didn't lock the door yeah, he back. Didn't lock the door I said, "What? Lock the door." It was, what a, are you it was doing? a kid in his room, <laughs> and he was watching people's windows in the apartment building across mm-hmm. the street, mm-hmm. and he seen what looked like, like you said, a like giant a monster, lady yeah, eating some dude, right? And, and he, she looked up at him. Yeah, she looked at from him from across, across the, the street, way. And then you just seen her like turn her head back and just sprint like into the into the house. Yeah. And then he seen her come Run out up. the apartment. That was the funny part. Her running run across, across the, the street. street. That's where I was like, okay, this he is just that funny. funny. That was but funny. Imagine seeing something that you can't explain sprinting across the street into your building and then like yeah, nah. it's just quiet for a minute. Nah. Yeah, and then you hear the door <laughs> you know, and then that's Watch the reaction video. You know Watch what I find TV. scarier than like the super like natural like then like ghosts. What fucking aliens? Aliens? Ooh, I don't okay. fuck with aliens. Like you I find might, aliens more scarier aliens? than ghosts. Yeah, like oh, I might shit. be, I might have a problem. Like Wait. I might, I might be a spacist on some. Like I, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. Et would have a problem. You might be a spacist. <laughs> you might be like, a spacist. Nah. He like nah. Like I don't, I don't know. Fuck with like, them greens. <laughs> I don't I don't greens. No, like no, like for real. Because it's like it's like what you doing here? Like why are you coming here? <laughs> no, you so might be spacist. Yeah, yeah, you might be spacist. You might be spacist. So <laughs> wait, in twenty years you gonna get canceled you for this shit? <laughs> then I'm like. Back in 2024, Eddie Blanco <laughs> said this about aliens, and now they're among us now. No, nah, I mean, but like, but it's like, it's like, why are you coming to this shithole? That's a fact. <laughs> like, that's, why? That's better than why? The, why are you? Not, not why are you coming here. Why, why are you, are you coming, here? Why are you so, coming on my lawn? Like, basically, no, but like, what you got? What's your well, business? It's a theory yeah. that we haven't seen aliens because Earth and our solar system in general is just a ghetto. So that's you why see, they don't this come is over the here. trenches. Yeah, no, the trench. All the aliens are in the water. I don't know why people you are, 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 are playing around. Godzilla in the water. That, yeah. yeah, there's, yeah. there's Godzilla, the there. only alien monster I trust. You trust Godzilla? Yes. So I guess you tr- you trust the idea that movies have of Godzilla because the concept of Godzilla is death walking. Like, but he gonna save the planet. See, he and that's that human planet. shit. Humans think they can make the friends planet. with anything. Like, think about the. I first... don't gotta be friends with him. But nah. He saved the world. If but you no, do save the world, though, no, you be no, locked in a little bit. Think he about be locked in. Humans, like, he be locked. Humans will die off the premise that they can make anything they friends. Think about the first dude who domesticated a wolf. He did it how though. Many, he did. No, but he how did many? Shit, how though. many of him died before? I he, mean, he wasn't the first dude. Them who niggas was ain't. Like, they wasn't him. 
<laughs> they yeah. them. Wait, so I know. I got an old question that we had a lot, like maybe, I want to say a year ago. So because you're you're afraid of aliens, mm. you wouldn't smash a bad alien. Nah, you're gonna get some like space something some space like, disease. No, you, oh, see, I didn't think about that. S- space aliens, no. you get some, and that's wow. Yeah. You're okay. dead. Like, yeah. like I don't even think you even need to like. Like, come, mm-mm, it's over. Well, that's worse than what we were saying because we was like, what if her inside, her anatomy is like lava yeah. on the inside? We <laughs> so were saying you, shit you like get, that, but oh. burned up. but space aids is a different space type AIDS of burn. So, <laughs> so if you had to choose, like your life depended on it between smashing a bad alien or a bad ghost. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that's a dumb. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Look at the things that stump dudes. <laughs> not politics. No, nah, not politics. Just let them do whatever. Yeah. Like, bad alien or bad <laughs> ghost? Damn. <laughs> alien ghost. Alien ghost. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Dead, I'm t- <laughs> no, he's locked in. <laughs> he going crazy. Uh, alien ghost. Is oh, crazy. my God. That's no, um, I say neither for real. For real. I don't know. Respect. I, respect. I don't know. If, I, I think I might just have to go out. Like I don't think I could do can that, that with That's either. True. Like number one, like with the alien, like. You know, we already mentioned that. And Anatomy, with like, space With, like, age, the ghost yeah. is like, like, that's that's somebody love one for real. Like, but they, that is somebody they, Nana. That is somebody Somebody's Nana. Nana like, they, they want it, though. So it's like, yeah. me, personally, ghost. That's just me. It's less, it's less, it's less things you got to do. Okay, with. okay. What, what they look like, though? <laughs> they what, bad. But what, they, like, who, they equally who bad. Equally bad? They equally bad. Like, they look identical? No, nah, they but don't it's look like, identical, but they're equally except bad. Except one's green and one's like <laughs> white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one, one's pale as paper. The well, other I, okay, one is, I love is, my people of color, so I guess I got to go with that. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. I'm going ghost. The worst that can happen is I get cursed, right? But it's like Alien That's is, if you don't put it down, though. If you don't put right, it down. All right. I'm, now we're getting Eddie, the whole I, we're so discussion. sorry. Listen, let's get into the interview. <laughs> we're we're, like, we're kind of at, at the end of it. This is why we're getting into what it. What else do we have? So I guess keeping it in the same theme of silly shit, right? <laughs> I'm, uh, Steve brought this to to my attention, and I thought it'd be a funny thing to ask just everybody in general here. Um, a dude on Twitter, now known as X if you care, um, he asked <laughs> chat GPT to meal plan for an African-American. Oh, my God, bro. What do you think? Well, like, just give me five items you think are on the list. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so, like, if it's chat GPT, yeah. I'm assuming they're going to, like, you know, whitewash it, yeah. and it's going to be in the mind of a white man. For a black person. For a black person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I would say, of course, the stereotype chicken. Of course. <laughs> That's a good Watermelon. <laughs> Watermelon would for sure be on there. Honestly, if Chat GPT oh, is on it, God. they might make some fried watermelon. Like on some shit. Like they, <laughs> they might, might they, they might, might come, they might combine some they, shit. You know the AIs be coming the, up with their own new, they new do little things sometimes. They be coming out with LeBron James with like ten fingers. Like imagine LeBron James with a whole three sixty fingers. <laughs> he over never, a he nigga, would never, he would never lose it. Basketball. He's never losing. A f- Fry watermelon. Somebody need to shit slept on. <laughs> and I bet you it's a thing already, too. Oh, 100%. Please. I, I Breaded and fried? There's too many state fairs to exist for their dad to they be They got fried, fried butter. butter. They do have fried butter. They do butter. got fried butter. Which it's is, fried ice oh cream. God. I've never had fried <laughs> butter. I think fried <laughs> butter is him. I almost got the thought of biting into, like... It is just it, butter? It is just butter. I would throw up. I've never had fried butter. I would, I would like, hope I would think I could. Like, You're just black. Like, you would, you would, like, you would, would, you, would just, you would feel okay, the okay, gout. Okay, okay, no, okay. you would feel the gout forming in your body. You would feel the butter go yeah, all the way down nah. to your big toe, and then you'd be like, "This is, what, <laughs> yeah, this is what gout is like." And then, and then you're done. No, the butter seep into your big. <laughs> it's crazy. Dead right? ass. It's it's the no, but fried butter is that so it probably is fried watermelon somewhere, which is unfortunate. <laughs> stop, whoever's doing it, stop doing <laughs> stop it, doing please. That. But so I'll so they only they only gave us Monday and Tuesday, so so for Monday, mm-hmm. Chat GPT told us that black people should meal prep for breakfast. It says grits 
with sauteed shrimp, bell peppers, and onions. Ooh. That's like, that, but that's... <laughs> fuck no, you, Chad GBT, because no, that's smack. That's I'm not, pretty good. This is the thing, right? That sounds pretty good. I fucked that up. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. This, this is the thing, right? I don't think... Any the grits thing, is a little extreme. No, anything on this list is crazy. I don't think that. But okay. It's just the fact that they're saying you should eat this for breakfast. Like, watch... Why watch Chad GPT look. sounding like Paula Dean right now? No, nah, yeah, that's <laughs> what... It, yeah, that, that was a Paula Dean watch this. right there. In the same she racist day, too. In the same day after you just had those those shrimps and bell peppers and grits, right? Mm-hmm. They said for lunch you should have southern style fried chicken, of course, uh, with a side of collard greens and cornbread. So we slaves. Okay, cool. No that's type fine. of like. That's a slavery. <laughs> Where the that's nutrition? That's a slavery ass meal. <laughs> what do you the do? The greens. Yeah. yeah, right. The ham hocks. That's really the how ham I hocks be. in the greens is supposed to. <laughs> I like I like my I like my ham hocks. Y'all ever had chitlins? <laughs> No, no. no. Are oh, you a Eddie, chi- Eddie, don't you do this, man. <laughs> are you are you a chitlin? Eddie, don't do whatever this. my grandmother give me because I love Eddie. her. Are you a chitlin? I eat whatever Eddie. my grandmother give me because I love her. I've never Eddie. been a chitlin of our age. Eddie, <laughs> that's so please, Eddie, I please. <laughs> Eddie, please tell me that was a joke. If it was a joke. <laughs> that's funny, man. I see how he looked. He was waiting for someone to be like chitlin. Like, no, we don't mess <laughs> Eddie, with chitlin. Man. The farthest I go is pork when I, fries. When I was younger, when I was younger, I used to eat chitlins. Fried or, or like. However, my grandma made them. She used to make them other than fried. Like she used to like, well, I mean like fried, but like she used to like, she used to clean them and shit like that. Yeah, no, the process I, I, was well, terrible. Okay, he had Nana House though. I'm, like, I'm at my grandma's. At Nana I would House. Think no other person is making chitlins. You put some hot sauce on them with some, with some salt. Eddie. No. No. Frank's Red Hot is not saving chitlins Eddie. for me. Eddie, brother, we free, man. We don't got to eat that shit no more. <laughs> we, we, man. We, we don't got to eat that shit. Yeah, we don't got to eat that shit. You ever had pig feet? No. No, Eddie. stop it. Eddie, you don't watch our channel, man. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never had no pay <laughs> I already broke down all of these, all of these meals. We have been free for two hundred. Yeah, years. Eddie, we don't have to eat that we shit, gotta man. Gotta put that stuff. Get down. you a burger, man. You ain't have man. no fried chicken feet. Come on now. Fried chicken feet. I've seen. I ain't never have that one though, but I've I've, I've, I've seen, seen it. It oh, be yeah. there. It be there. The it thing be thing there is, though. Yeah, they do be there. My the grandma from is, down south. See, that's tough because if you had Nana House enough, it is what it is. You gonna have, yeah. My mother had turtle soup. I ain't never had that. Turtle soup is crazy. Turtle, turtle soup is, crazy. is insane. Not, not Franklin. Like, that's, I can't eat Franklin. Brody, that's the bro. pet, bro. A, it, it was. I can't eat Franklin. Wait, what? Yeah, it was. It was the pet for real? It was the pet for real. All right, that, Peter about to f- yeah, bust yeah. through the windows. Hey, North, it's Franklin. They can't do that to a North Carolina black man. That was just yeah, what grand, granddad said turtle soup. Turtle soup was made. So. Go on, cook. Go on, cook. That's Jimmy's where my family from. from right there. Oh, North Carolina. That's oh. where my grandma from, North Carolina. Say it. Oh, We all might be related. Yeah, yeah. We all when, like, when our powers can bond. <laughs> I feel like most black people who end up in the north. How I find my cousin? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I feel like most black people who end up in the north have family in North Carolina, like because mm-hmm. they, they have to make their way up from wherever they were from. And they yeah. were like, it's a nice stop, but I'm trying. I'm trying that's to what. Farther. That's what my grand, my mom's mom mm-hmm. moves to New York City, met my granddad. My granddad, you know, <laughs> he do he do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> And then now she lives in North Carolina again. I refuse to go back. So lunch was the the chicken and, and, and greens and cornbread. Mm-hmm. Okay. For a snack, they said homemade sweet potato chips. Sweet potato chips are fire. Yeah, they they are, but homemade. Do they mean sweet potato chips like sweet potato fries? Like, is that a European? No, they mean AI. Like, they mean cutting the the sweet potato in the shape of chips. In the chips, I've them. had I've had sweet yeah, potato no, chips. Yeah, not bad. I'm be getting them. But as a snack, yeah, as a snack, as a snack is crazy. Um, for dinner, it says barbecue pulled pork <laughs> with a side of macaroni and cheese and coleslaw. It's not bad. That hit all, are, throughout the all, day, though. That's what I'm for saying. For the whole day, at the crazy. end of the day, your You're blood not, pressure yeah. is Look crazy. At this. And then they got a dessert on here: peach cobbler with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. See, that's good as fuck. But all, all of that, that in one, one day, day is crazy. You're sweating. You're yeah, sweating. you're done. You're sweating. And you going uh, to sleep after that? <laughs> you're not getting up for work. You're not. But see, 
our, our granddads used to eat that shit because they was at the steel mill. Yeah, they had to. And so they, you had to <laughs> like. had to burn the calories. Yeah, you had because that shit was going to be gone. They, by was, the time. they was working, working. Yeah, they was working. We behind computers and shit. So, <laughs> so it was, it's over, it's no bro. Point can't be doing like, that. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. You, you got to work on the farm. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah that. that's fine. So I guess it's fine for farm folk, for but farm not folk. For us, yeah. no, it's not day to day people. This is not man. for us at all. And for Tuesday. It, What's the breakfast on Tuesday, Rick? Talk Southern to style biscuit and gravy <laughs> with a side of scrambled e- scrambled eggs. That's crazy <laughs> to me. You're done off of that. You're sleeping. <laughs> You're not going to work. You're not going to work. Side of scrambled eggs. Yeah, side bro. of scrambled eggs. And the eggs got cheese on them. I'm just throwing it up. They go at you. <laughs> yeah, they got to have the cheese. Yeah, I'm the, if you scramble <laughs> eggs with no cheese, is you a cereal kid? You gotta be. You gotta be. You just real or healthy. like, like just you egg, like no healthy. seasoning, yeah, no, no se- nothing, it's, just I, egg. Like. I've never not seen seasoning it. It's great. You just, just straight up just I've egg. I've never cooked seen scrambled egg. eggs without cheese in them. I don't know what those look like. No, nah, I've, see, I've seen them. I've seen them before. I put the cheese on. <laughs> Not, uh, I, not I put, on my plate. I put cheese, well, I put cheese in it before I. Yeah, start, I put the I cheese it. in it. I mm. stir it, and then I start cooking it, yeah. and then I take another cheese and throw it on, and I throw it on top. Yeah, See, I do that. I do that. If I'm trying to be fancy. If I'm just trying to make the eggs real quick, I just no, scramble I, it up and then throw it on. Top. I can't scramble no eggs without throwing the salt, pepper, and always cheese. American mm. cheese. Always. Oh yeah, I love I the American cheddar. cheese. I don't mind cheddar the cheddar. Works. I don't cheddar mind works. the cheddar, but that American make it like more like creamy. Like it's like a you got like a. 100%. I, I agree. I just, cheddar don't hurt. Yeah. Um, it don't. For, for lunch, fried catfish with a side of hush puppies and potato salad. For Not lunch? The hush <laughs> Not the hush puppies. Hush puppies is crazy. For lunch, no? For lunch, right, right. Right off of the, off of southern, the biscuit. The southern biscuits with gravy and eggs. Off of that. Bro. Like three hours later, you like, bust this down real quick. Bust down this fried catfish. That's your day is done. Your you're not done. doing nothing else. I'm not making that, it that far. No, you're not. Well, no, <laughs> you you're just there. not. Yeah, the day's done, bro. For if you're still hungry after that, <laughs> still though. hungry is crazy. Candy pecans. I right, I don't know who just got those. Yeah, I don't know. That's the shit you just shake <laughs> your head. <laughs> shake your head and back. back. They got them shits at the baseball game. <laughs> no, no, for real. <laughs> yeah, right next to the sun. You got sunflower yeah. seeds. Bubble chew and, and then them, candy the pecans. pecans. Oh my god! Um, for dinner, Creole jambalaya with chicken shrimp, a doula sausage, and a side of cornbread. A whole jambalaya after <laughs> the fried catfish. <laughs> the, all six of the things you just named is different. Day, and even that's crazy. Yeah, those are day on a day to day. You had for a week. If you have all that shit, you're still tweaking. If you have fried chicken. You in the hospital. Yeah, no, you Yeah, and that's on a day to day joint. In one day? And that's just one day too. <laughs> people get people go out for less. No, that's I'm, what I'm saying, I've bro. I've had each one of these things as one meal. Yeah, yeah. And, that's AI that's AI trying and to it lasts me the day. day. AI trying to take us out. And as a as a big fella, as a fat individual, I do not co sign. Yeah, and then and for dessert that, bro. to round it out for the last thing, <laughs> banana bread with cream cheese frosted. Damn, that shit sound like it's Mac. Bro. No, that shit sound crazy. Cream <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Way to pull out the cream cheese Yo, frosted listen. though. Like I never had banana. Br- wait, no, banana had bread. Had banana bread with cream cheese frosted. That shit was fire. I ain't never had that, but that shit sound good. I've yeah. only ever had cream cheese you frosted. Cream cheese frosted. That shit is immaculate. Oh no, I mean banana bread with oh, frosted. Oh, period. Yeah, I was like, oh. cream cheese frosted is it? Yeah, I've no, only cream cheese frosted is good on red velvet cake. That's fair. Yeah, and carrot cake. I've never had it on carrot cake. I don't carrot fuck with carrot cake. cake. Carrot, carrot cake, cake is it. I, I don't to... eat carrots. I only eat it in cake. <laughs> in cake form? I only eat carrots in cake form. Back when, I fuck uh, with carrots. I don't fuck with the cake. That's back it. when Old Country Buffet existed, they used to have like oh, the squares. I miss it. Mm. Yeah, no, that was the heat right there. They used to have the squares for the carrot cake, and then they used to have the... Well, if if they worked, they used to have the ice cream machine, and then they had the frozen yogurt joint. The mm. ice cream machine rarely worked for vanilla. The only ones that used to work really was a swirl and a chocolate. Yep. And, but then if you wanted to be like, bro, I don't want no chocolate, then you got to get the Froyo. And the Froyo is eh, but mm. it, it's better than the chocolate. Mm. Man, Old Country Buffet was I miss it. Old Country Buffet. It was it. Yeah. You used to mix the drinks at the joint. 
I remember that. Mm-hmm. I remember slushies. that. I used, yep. to, yep. I used to be the slushy god. I used yeah, to be like, I used to be mixing all the slushies together. <laughs> you like, like, ever seen a green slushy before? Nah, you ain't never seen that. <laughs> it was like, they don't got the color options up like, there. You gotta know your color palettes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit was that shit was it. Too bad yeah, they closed. No. They they wasn't making money because people was eating them out of house and home. But <laughs> it was great to have. Yeah. We got a skit coming soon related to oh, not, well, not old country, but close yeah, to it. Um, this has been great. I I don't know what else we're supposed to get into. I um, have he, one we, more we question. We talked about his project. We yep. talked about. Uh, free music party. Yep. We talked about him as a person. Yep. Um, he told us we that learned he could, about his nana. Yeah. You gotta tell your nana about them chitlins, though, brother. We can't. We don't gotta eat that now. no more. My grandma make the best chitlins in the world. But we free. <laughs> well, that that's the thing. There's not much competition. <laughs> yeah, don't gotta be in, though, bro. It's about it's about five it's about five nanas with the secret cookbook. And, and, they're, and they're the last to hold the power of the chitlins. This is I the told last. you what my dad said. My dad in the back. The thing is, is I told like, you my dad. He said, no, nah, chitlins is fire. I said, oh, no. But he, <laughs> he's he's old, older. Yeah. So but you, I don't sense. eat anybody chitlins, though. You should eat You know what I mean? You like eat nobody chitlins. <laughs> nobody chitlins. It shouldn't matter but who's like, making them. You should, shouldn't be like, I'm not pulling up to nobody's crib. And if they got chitlins on their table, which I, I, that hasn't ever happened. Yeah, that, but like, no, if I it were to hypothetically happen. I ain't eating them because like, that's a skit. Like, you go to a nick like one of your homies like get togethers and then they got chitlins on the shit. Yeah, his birthday party and that's like, one of the finger I'm not finger. having chitlins at chitlins your birthday. At the you got chitlins. I will have to leave, and I'm taking your present out of there. It I'm not leaving your present. There. If I seen someone eat chitlins, like they protected their bowl, like they're afraid someone going <laughs> they what, get down chitlins. on them. That would piss me off because I'm like nobody wants oh, those what except shit, man. you. You're the only person eating them. But I guess there is another one who, who eats only one person's chitlins, which is one too many, but it is. I respect it. it it's it, Nana. It makes sense. If she Nana t- them. No, we're not saying she don't. That's not the problem. The problem is the chitlins themselves. No one's saying that she don't clean them. It's just you shouldn't be eating chitlins no more. One of my coworkers, she an older lady. She was like, her mind used to be like, nah, don't clean them too good. You're getting the, the flavor out of them. That's crazy. <laughs> Whoa, that's cr- that is insane. That's cr- Clean that, them, but don't clean them too good. I said, Miss, that's I don't want to hear the blood. That's crazy. That's insane. No more. I don't want to hear no more. <laughs> they, got, they got mad at kids for making a song about eating ass. That's and what they I'm saying. They, you, you are eating <laughs> ass. ass. Kinda. E- you created this. <laughs> Y'all eat hot dogs? Nah. I'm not a glizzy <laughs> guy, but I've never been a, even when I was younger before glizzy became a thing. Yeah. If y'all ever I had a glizzy, y'all glizzy had chitlins. chitlins. Glizzies are not chitlins. They're close. He might they're, be, he they're, might they're be close. on the They're so If you've close. ever in had concept, a glizzy, you've ate a chitlin. In concept, they're really close. Right. And technically, they're bits, there's a, there are bits of a lot of things, but they're not just chitlins and they're not like fried chitlins, boiled chitlins. Like it's but you, <laughs> you had chitlins before though. He might be I Rick. A, I had a Salies. Everybody in the Rick, he might be on the something. If they you ever had a Glizzy, you had chitlins. So so if 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 your if your grandma handed you a, a chitlin in a hot dog bun, that would make sense to you? No, because it's, it's <laughs> not a it's not the same like thing. Like it's like you know what I mean. It's a different. It's two different like textures styles of eating. Yeah, <laughs> styles of What's eating. What's the style of eating a chitlin? Break that down. What? A fork. You gotta eat them. Okay. You can't, you can't eat a hot dog. So I fork. so do you put chitlins on bread? Can you or no? Just put some hot sauce on it. That's all. That's all you do is hot sauce. Hot See, sauce. I feel like something Salt like them. that. Is hot chitlins a side or are they like? That's crazy. All right, y'all. This has been it's another. This has been. <laughs> it's a side. This has been another you episode. Press down nope. to play the chitlins and this, call it a day. That's this has crazy. been another episode of the RB podcast with Eddie Blanco. Thank you so much for being here, bro. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done. I've had a wonderful time, Eddie. We hope you had a good time as well. Thank you for coming, brother. Oh my god! I'm just asking. <laughs> no one, no one ever asked that question. Are chitlins a side or are they a main? Check out Free Music Party. <laughs> Check out Eddie Blanco. All the information will be in the description down below. Don't eat chitlins. Whether your nana make it, <laughs> your gra- your mom, just don't eat them. And most of all, what is it, Rick? We love you guys. Peace out, man. Oh, my God. Oh, 994. Get us to 1,000 by tomorrow. Yes, sir. I've 
I've been in a R&P mood, ayy Oh yeah, oh yeah, ayy Oh yeah, oh yeah, ayy R&P moves, R&P news, ayy Yeah, now we making R&P moves, ayy